know that both teams feel that way. We've uh, had an enjoyable week here in Birmingham, and the BBVA Compass people have been remarkable hosts, and um, the Sheraton people have been wonderful. I think our kids have enjoyed uh, being around each other in the bowl experience. Obviously, the, the culmination of that would be playing well tomorrow and getting a win uh, for our football program, and, and that's uh, what we've really turned our attention to over the last 24 hours and and on into tonight and, and preparing for tomorrow. And uh, we're excited, thrilled to be here to play at the, the old great lady. So many uh, great games have been played here. And uh, hopefully our guys can uh, rise to the occasion tomorrow and, and play their best football. Thank you, Coach. We'll go ahead and get started with some questions. We'll start on the right side, second row. For Coach and both players, uh, it's been a month since you played. How, how anxious are you to get back out there and get a little game action? Um, you know, out from the coach's perspective, it's, uh, it's, it's probably a little more unsettling than it is for the guys there. I'll let them answer, but... You know, for me, it's it's uh, you you know you go through you know, all the things that could uh, be be you know you watch all the other teams how they perform and some probably would say that they haven't performed up to their ability and for whatever reason and it's almost like we're starting a, a new season again because it has been quite quite a long time but um, that's from the coach's perspective but you have to at some point depend upon your your young men that you prepare to play you know, 12 games in this season and, and that they get the magnitude of this moment and the opportunity that they have and that there'll be some leadership provided by guys like these two uh, that get our team ready to play. Bo? I think for me, um, you know, getting here, you still feel like the game's so far away. So I think last night when kind of tweets start rolling in from fans who are coming and, you know, they tell you that they're on the way and things like that, you kind of, it sinks in that it's almost game time and, you know, you start getting that little anxiety and, so, so for me, and I know Denzel, too, we're both really excited to, to go out here and start start the game. Denzel? Well, you know, you get used to the season, playing a game every Saturday, in and out. You get this big break, and, you know, you just get hungry to get out there and play some more football, you know, because we're in this, because we absolutely love the game. So everybody, you know, we're making sure everybody on the team is hungry and making sure we're going to play up to our expectations and, you know, do what we're taught and do what Coach Freeze tells us to do every Saturday. Other questions for Ole Miss? Right side toward the back. Hugh, is there any importance to winning the game in terms of bridging into the 2013 season or maybe too much made of post bowl ball? Um, I think uh, you guys that cover us know that um, I'll never, you know, make too much or too little of a, of a win or a loss. Uh, I think um, when you're in the building stage of a program like we are, that uh, that can be dangerous slopes. But uh, there's no question that uh, winning uh, tomorrow and finishing uh, a, a year to me that I think our team overachieved and, and the continuing to carry momentum throughout the recruiting season into spring ball, into next year, and the expectations that will be raised next year for our team, I think is very important. Um, I, I don't think the expectations will change much if, if things do not work out tomorrow. but. It's certainly in, in, in our mind, I like, I'm a guy that likes momentum, and uh, certainly a win tomorrow would, would uh, help us continue the momentum that we have right now. We have a question on the front row. Right here on the end. This is to either, either player, maybe both of you guys. What's the biggest difference other than the one loss record between last year and this year? Bo? Uh, can, can you say it again? I'll, I'll ask. Bo wasn't Bo wasn't a part of last year, so it'd be hard for him to answer it. Denzel probably could. Can you repeat that question, please? <laughs> I apologize. The biggest difference between 2011 and 2012. Oh, um, the biggest difference is we're like a team now. You know, we you know we love each other and we're starting to treat each other like like brothers. And and the way that you know you're able to get success faster than you know people can expect it is within and and that's the next step like becoming a family while you're competing at the highest level and and the closer you are the better you do it it plays hand in hand and that's pretty much been the biggest difference from this year and last year the selfishness is completely out the picture everybody's playing for each other play for the fans and you know playing for our coaches and and it's it's it's, it's a total turnaround thank you you're welcome left side